It is a warm, beautiful day for the first day of the new year. Good morning, little lammies. What did you guys say? It's our... Hey, it's Drea. <laughs> okay. Everybody's got some breakfast. All right. This is how we do chores in our pajamas and boots in the morning. Hubby is going to, this is what his goal is. That calf, we weaned him and he kept busting out. So we're gonna turn him, he's been weaned for a while. So we're gonna turn him back out with the bull. Just leave the top one up. You think he'll go under it? I think he'll go under it. So the goats and sheep don't run out. So we're gonna keep the goats and sheep and pigs and there goes the pig. You're gonna be running around everywhere. That pig loves you so much. So do the chickens. Look at the chickens fall in. The other pig. Oh, watch out, Wilbur. Yeah, I'm standing here holding him. So he doesn't run this way. There he goes. Got him. If you just walk in, the pigs will follow you because they love you. There you go. Stay there, piggy. I think you got him. I know. The goats look really good. There's a lot of grass out there. So the sheep. Alright, I'm coming over. Alright, look at Luna. She's getting a little udder. See how big her belly is? Okay, I think Hubby's gonna turn the electric on. The pigs are about to touch it. I have to think that they can go through it. Alright, it's on. And that sheep right there. She is going to have babies soon too, see how big her belly is. We haven't had her as long, but yeah, she's starting to get a little udder there too. Not as much as Luna though. Luna's the sheep we've had for a couple of years. She's nice and fat. She's getting close to cabin. Okay, we've got a couple cows close to cabin, so we're going to move them over to the lot right next to the, the house so we can keep an eye on them. Katie over there is one of them. Beauty here. Come on, Katie did. You could be due as early as this week, but you look like you got a couple more weeks in you. Come on, Katie. Good. She does look big. I think she's gonna have a heifer. Yeah, she's she's really close, Mario. Alright, it's getting exciting around here. Um we haven't had a calf since like August. And Katie is bagging up. She's all swelled up. Getting ready to have a little baby heifer. Better be a heifer. 20 is the year of heifers, right Katie? We AI'd Katie, I believe, to Gus. So hopefully we'll get another heifer out of Gus. She 
she's like, I'm getting every last morsel. Look at this poor, poor beggar. Look at how her nose is wiggling and sniffing. Hoping we'll feel sorry for her enough to give her another scoop of feed. <laughs> I got to talking while these cows were being milked that they should be pretty far along their pregnancies and all of them are not given very much milk which leads me to think that they're getting closer to calving than further away so I decided that I was gonna preg check them and see where they are at with their pregnancies me checking Bonnie here. I'd already checked Roseanne and she was about five months pregnant. Um, I'm checking Bonnie here now and she, she, they're just little cows. So the vet had too big a hands to preg check these cows. So I always preg check the cows and I preg checked Bonnie here and as you can see in the video it was a little bit of a workout. <laughs> But eventually we preg checked her and she was also five months pregnant, which is makes me happy. So we can dry them both off when Katie calves. Pregnant. Okay, fine. All right, get every last drop. Because all of our cows are late lactation. I just checked Bonnie, she was about five or six. And Roseanne's five or six months pregnant. And Dolly is, I don't know, I haven't preg checked her yet, but we don't got any milk. Katie's due to calve in the next couple weeks, so when Katie calves, we'll just dry these three off. Let them gestate. But for now, we need the milk for Paisley. Come on, Bonnie. See the milk coming out right there. She's only got three good quarters. There's a blind quarter. So she's got four quarters and one of them doesn't work. And so you can see the milk coming out of the other one. There you go. Our cows and chickens think it's funny to stand by the door and beg for food. They try to look as pathetic as possible in hopes that we'll feel sorry for them and dump some grain out there for them. <laughs> Straight from the jar to the strainer into the jar. And right to Paisley's tummy, because she loves her milk, huh, honey? Paisley wouldn't survive without milk. <laughs> All right, we managed to get Katie and Beauty into the paddock next to the house. It's a smaller paddock, so we can keep an eye on them and wait for Katie to calve, which should be within the next week or two. And Beauty will calve probably next month sometime. In the meantime, we get to give them lots of cuddles and scratches because these are two of our friendly cows. Most of our cows are pretty friendly, but Katie is just a special little cow that I raised from a baby. Cows when they put some hay out for these cows. Make sure they get everything they need. Alright. So we've got them in this little... Uh, how big you say this paddock is? Three, four acres? Something like that. In anticipation of Katie's baby. And beauty. She should be due next month. She's a February. She's a January. Beauty has a talent for always looking mad. She's really just a sweet little cow, but she just got that look in her eye. Bradley's out here 
giving these little baby lambs some cuddles so maybe they won't be so crazy. Okay, you just stay here for a couple hours and love on them. And we also caught some feathers. The guineas lost some feathers. So those are our what are the good luck feathers for the new year. Rod, you haven't it hasn't been a couple hours yet. Kinda get heavy after a while. <laughs> oh, where's that heifer going? <laughs> oh goodness. What are you doing, crazy girl? Yeah, she's just a spaz. Alright, you might, might want to let those calves eat that grain before the chickens get it all. I'm going to say see ya. All right, here is our herd of mini jerseys. We have, I think, eight or nine calves at least coming this spring, maybe even more than that. We're getting excited around here for springtime. Now that Christmas is over and New Year's is over, um, it's time to start focusing on our goals for the farm this year and get excited about new life and new possibilities. So as I look at all these cows happily grazing in January in Southern Missouri, I am excited for what this year has to offer.